Good evening. My name is Kamna Verma. I am an intern at UV Advocate and for today my topic is right of accused person. What are the rights of accused person under the Indian constitution? Well, like every other country, there are cert- there exist certain rights of accused person in India. As per the legal principle, one is considered innocent until proven guilty. There are many rights given to a accused person. We will see each one by one. The rights of accused person in India has provided only in cases where the warrant is issued. Section 57 of CRPC and Article 22 Clause 2 of Indian Constitution provides the right of accused in CRPC that he or she must be produced before a judicial magistrate within 24 hours of the arrest. Right of accused person is that he or she has right to appeal in front of the court. They can go for appeal in front of the court because they are not uh, they are not arrested they have they are they are only accused for a certain crime which they have not done it's not proven in the court Tell me. right to humane treatment in prison right their family can also visit them in the jail this is a right given to an accused person R- a right to uh, accused of privacy and protection against unlawful searches like he or she uh, like his uh, like his or her property cannot be searched without a search warrant. According to Article 20, Clause 3 of the Indian Constitution, a person cannot be compelled to a witness against himself. Like uh, there cannot be a self-incrimination. This is the this is the right given to an accused person in Indian Constitution. According to Article 20, Clause 2 of the Indian Constitution, right against your double jeopardy. A person cannot be punished for more for uh, the same offense more than once. If a person is a, um, if a person is accused for one offense, the same uh, he cannot be accused for the for that same offense again. Okay, a right against ex facto ex post facto law. Accused have also the right to, to take a bail if they file a bail uh, application in the court. Then they will get bail easily because it is a right given to accused person because they are not arrested they are only accused right to legal aid if accused is unable to afford a lawyer then the state has to provide free legal aid to the uh, to him to for his representation in the court okay uh, right to get copies of documents uh, he must get the copies of documents like uh, uh, what are the uh, trials going in the court he must get that copies he must uh, he must know what is written, written in the document he must see the document uh, this this is the right given to accused person a uh, right to cross examination the right to cross examination is given to an accused person so that he can be cross examined by the uh, by the by the prosecutor so that so that they will be so that they can be proved innocent right to acquittal right to acquittal is given to an accused person so that uh, uh, he and she can be acquitted if uh, if they are not declared guilty. And the right of accused in, in uh, the right of accused in India has a right uh, to fair and expeditious trial, which is free of any bias or prejudice. There must be a fair trial so that so that uh, the accused, if he has not done the crime, must be set free. The accused and at last the accused person has been granted certain rights. Again, an accused has certain rights during the course of any investigation, inquiry or trial of offence with, with which he is charged and he should be protected against arbitrary and illegal arrest. That's all for today. Thank you. And uh, each and every person must know these rights so that they will help so that it will help them in future or their family or their friends. Thank you.